Good morning, YouTube. Sunday, we're out at the Mississippi Ponderosa. We do a little different video today. We're actually going to collaborate with um, Mississippi Ponderosa, which is my brother and his daughter. And we are going to do some bullet testing on a new Winchester ammo for 22s. We've got several guns at different lengths, different length barrels, uh, rifles as well as pistols. And I brought my chronograph and we're gonna hook that up and do some shooting through it. So, should be a pretty cool video. I hope so, hope y'all enjoy it. All right, bring y'all back once we get set up and everything gets rolling. Bye. Morning YouTube again. This is uh, my brother Big, Brian. Hey. He's uh, Mississippi Ponderosa. I'll put a link to his channel in my description. Uh, we're actually going to do some testing today. We're shooting these particular bullets, Winchester Silver Tips. They're rated at 1060 feet per second out of a three inch barrel? Three and a half. Three and a half inch barrel. I don't have a three and a half. I just got size matters. He got, guess what? I do. He got the three and a half. So at least we'll be able to see. Yeah. I've you know, got a, a three and a half. I've got a one and three eighths barrel. If, if the packaging is correct. And a six inch barrel. Plus he's got a couple of rifles of what, 14 and the 20 inch? 14, Four, 14 16, which is standard, and a, and a 20 inch bull barrel. Cool. And we'll see if it. So yeah, we can basically take a look at the ballistic C. The difference in the uh, how many feet per second we get out of the different length barrels using the same bullet. Right. Uh, a lot of people, you know, will test different bullets out of the same barrel, see what's happening. We're going to do the same bullet out of different barrels just to see the variation. I have a chronograph I'm going to set up. So you think it'll go, the speed will go up? It, in theory. Because it says they're in, you know, because it's a self defense bullet that we're going to use, so that's basically a a carry right but you don't really that carry be... 20 inch bull barrels around would be for like this right as far as pt-22 um yeah that's about a three three and a half inch barrel uh, i didn't measure it but we'll see what it does with that we'll see what it does with the others and we compare the numbers and see if anything just it'd have, be interesting have fun shooting. having fun shooting um yeah, I mean, that's that's the barrel one. So, you can see, we compare them. The slight difference. This is a lot easier to stick in your pocket than this. You know, right. have some big pockets and a really strong belt. Right. That thing weighs about 8,000 pounds. Um, it's pretty, though. It is pretty. It's shiny. Yeah, yeah. No, not, not, no, no doubt about that. Um, so, I'm going to get go ahead and get the chronograph set up. Get the uh, get my iPad. We're going to plug into the chronograph so we can see all the numbers, and we'll take it from there and see how we do. Hopefully, uh, everything will work out, and we'll get some. some we'll good learn info. some stuff. Yeah, yeah, definitely. If definitely. nothing else, we have some fun shooting things. Oh, for sure, for sure, no doubt about that. All right, we'll bring you back in a little bit once we get set up. See y'all in a little bit. Five thousand two hundred and forty. I think that's wrong. I'm getting crazy numbers. Crazy numbers on this. Twelve thousand. It's still the same. Yeah, no, I'm I, I'm getting different numbers on here, and it's like crazy. I'm not sure what what's going on with this. Why are we getting these numbers? Twelve 
unless they're coming apart before they're leaving the barrel or as they're leaving the barrel and it's throwing everything off. Shoot the Why last one. On huh? Why are they showing up on animal? Uh, because the numbers are so big you can't register on there. Look, let me show you the numbers. I can't, I don't have the glasses on. 12,380, 13,991, 12,289, right. 4 million. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure if that's something to do with the bullets actually fragmenting as they're coming out the barrel or not. So I'm going to go ahead and stop. I'm going to clear that group. What is that? What, what's the, what pistol is that? Um, A Ruger? Ruger Mark II. Um, competition target. Okay. Are you just practice shooting? Yeah, I'm just going to shoot. Okay. See what kind of numbers we get here. Five twenty two. Five oh seven. Miss fire or miss feed. Uh, 49. Is it jamming? All right. While we're getting crazy chronograph Let's readings. Like putting the arm. Um... A thunderbolt in here. All right. Cheap ammo. Budget ammo, we'll say. Okay. Your ears. Three sixty four. So we know we were getting the right reading on this one, right? We were getting the right reading on that one too. Earlier. No, we were using this. Oh that one, yeah. Eleven sixty three. That's about right. I'm just wondering if they're fragging before or as they're leaving the barrel. But I mean, it shouldn't really mess up the chronograph that much. 
unless it's just little bitty pieces flying across and this other going elsewhere. Your cover's on. Okay. Five oh five. That doesn't make any sense. Try my, my uh, big revolver. See what that one does. Did you load? You didn't load any. Huh? I was asking if you loaded any in it. Half cock. Yeah, put it on half cock. It's a single action. Nine forty nine. Hmm. That seems maybe closer to being right. That's a little closer to being right, yeah. So, with a little technical difficulty. A lot of technical difficulty. We're not sure what this is going on with these silver tips, but I don't think it's right. I no. don't know if the chronograph was off, or I don't know. You know, all chronographs aren't. Exactly equal. Right. We learned that from old Paul. Yep. Well. But these are getting, we we're getting some uh, weird, I mean, weird, weird Anywhere numbers. from 15,000, we know it ain't running 15,000. No. To 300. Yeah. And everywhere in between. So, are they that inconsistent? I don't think so. Yeah. So, we're going to shoot some cheap ammo through the chronograph through all these different barrels yep. and then we're just going to compare and hopefully we can get some answers some one of you guys might know what's going on because it seems like this old this old cowboy gun here actually is the most consistent with what the box says yep i don't know y'all tell us so we're going to put some lead down range and we get some ears on i hope I don't know where my ears went. Your daughter took them. My daughter took them again. So let me get some ears on, and uh, we'll be back in a second. All right, so with all the technical difficulty that we had, yeah, we are going to go ahead with some Remington Golds. Old standard 550 box. Used to be able to get them for like 20 bucks a box. Now I think they're like $3 million, maybe $3.5 million. I'm not sure. Yeah. People have lost their mind over 22 bullets. So we're gonna shoot this. Oh Jesus! We're gonna shoot this little guy first. We've been getting numbers all over the place. We're gonna see what this little Taurus has with some cheap ammo, because the Winchester silver tips are all over. Yeah. We get like four million feet per second, or fourteen thousand, or three hundred. Yep. But crazy, the most crazy consistent numbers. Is this guy, this old cowboy gun, has been pretty much consistent with what it says on the box. I hope one of y'all know why. Please comment below and let us know what, if we are doing something wrong. Nothing. I don't know. So we're going to put some bullets down range with this guy and see what it comes up with. We did change the battery in the chronograph. Maybe that was the issue. I don't really know. It's fancy. We're not fancy. He's fancy. So let's see what we got. Three thirty one. Three hundred thirty one. That's wrong. Misfire. Ow. Three eighty. Three thirty five. 334. 330. Alright. Just a check. Clear. 
So what do we learn from that? I don't know. Is it 330? That's awfully, that's not even BB gun. I got BB guns that shoot better than that. Yep. Something's wrong somewhere. We're going to go to this old trusty cowboy gun next. So let's see what happens when we uh, when we put a few bullets down range with this guy. Ten, so six. Ten fifty two. One thousand nine. Nine fifty seven. Uh, that's it. So see, why is this six inches barrel versus three and a half inch barrel worth 300 feet? I don't think so. Now, we're going to go to the Ruger Mark II competition. A little red dot on it. Turn the little red dot on just for the hell of it. Alright. I'm going to see what this guy does. Error. 1074. 1116. 1100. 1135. That's five rounds. So, that was pretty consistent, I guess. So, from six inches to seven inches, it went up almost a hundred feet, I guess. We're going we're gonna to tally everything up and let y'all know in a minute. But now we're going to bring out, I know y'all watched the last video where we did the build for Cam's gun. Don't y'all tell her that I'm shooting it. Because she come unglued. So we're going to try with this. This is a hog hunting gun. That's why we cut the barrel down. That way you can get through the bushes and stuff. It's still legal. We got a new trigger release, new trigger, charging handle, new vortex optic scope. We're going to see how much difference a little couple inches make. We're going to take it off the safety. 965. 1152 1068 error 1099 all right so that's five through through that gun This is mine. Now this is a Ruger 1022, but it's got it's got a 20 inch barrel on it. It ain't got all the fancy stuff that Cam has. Eleven ninety six. This far. Ow. Twelve twenty. Twelve twenty eight. Hold on. You got. I've you. been having problems with this new clip. I mean, it is a BX clip, but it's clear. If you wanted a clear clip, I got it a clear clip. 
and I've been having problems with it, to be honest with y'all. Um, I'm going to change over to a little 10 round clip, and we'll be back with you in one second. Alright, so round two. I got a 10 round clip, factory Ruger clip. Got it in there. I know that this baby cycles. And my gun is kind of dirty, but. Error. 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 Try and get your barrel more level. Error. 12.05. Take three. See what happens now. Eleven ninety nine, twelve thirty eight, twelve ninety three, twelve thirteen, twelve oh two. Okay. So about twelve hundred feet per second. Got a spread of ninety seven. Medium velocity of twelve twenty one. some numbers show you where all these guys are at and be back in a second okay so we've finished with our uh, shooting and the 20 inch barrel no surprise got 1200 feet per second um, go all the way down to the 3 inch barrel on the Taurus PT-22 and it was showing 340 no three way. and it just that does not seem right at all but um that's like daisy red rider 300 yeah. feet per second you you'd be able to see the boat the look here you can see the bullet come out the, uh, yeah 300 feet per second actually you'll watch the bb go and hit the target yeah you would adjust your shooting not by the sight but by where the bb came out at right it's almost like that I can't believe that little gun only three, no, something's wrong. Yeah. Now, with the other pistols, as we had suspected, you know, it was three, 343 for this one. The Sierra 6 was 10.06. Oh, okay. And then the Ruger Mark IV, which has got a what, six inch barrel? Seven. Seven inch barrel was 11.06. So definitely had a had more velocity. Now, here's the interesting thing: the average velocity out of Cam's 10.22 with a 16-inch barrel, this one was 1,071. So actually, the the target pistol, the Ruger Mark II, this baby, was shooting faster than that rifle. Then we go to Brian's rifle, the other Ruger 1022 with a 20 inch bull barrel, and it was shooting at 1220 feet per second, 1221 to round it up. So it dropped, it jumped it up like 100. Yeah. Well, going from her rifle to your rifle was almost 150. Wow. So, so you think that has to do with the twist? Because that has a competition barrel on it. I mean, does it make that big a difference with a little round? Maybe. It could be. I know this. We have the same barrel coming in for this gun <coughs> that we have on mine. It's just blue because it's black and red, and that's what she likes, so whatever. So we have come back and test that, yeah. the stainless barrel versus the blue barrel, and see if the twist or who knows. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Yeah. If anybody can figure it out, he can figure it out. Yeah. He's a smart guy. I'm just, I'm he, he teaches school. Yeah. Poor bastard. Yeah, well, I retired from that. Yeah, he did. 
Now you just shoot the guns and hangs out. Can't get a whole lot better than that. I can rate my wife on a gun. And grandkids. Got plenty of grandkids. Yeah, yeah, I got, got that to play with. We'll get them shooting soon enough. Oh, yeah, yeah. As soon as they're they're old enough, we'll, we'll have them out shooting. Probably get a fishing pole in their hand before we get a gun. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. oh, yeah. They're going to have a fishing pole in their hands pretty soon. Definitely. I'm just, I'm still baffled over that Winchester, those, those uh, silver tips. Uh, you know, whether, yeah, but $10 were, a box. And were they fragmenting coming out the barrel? Uh, were, uh, or were they, I don't, I don't know. I just, it, 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 I'm baffled. Uh, and we were going muzzle velocity with those. I mean, we were right on top of the chronograph. For the most part with those and let us know if we had the chronograph too close we got it at about five feet away four feet away not even that far i mean from the barrel should it's be, only a few inches but that's usually when you when you're testing muzzle velocity you're you're right at the chronograph oh, that's okay. what they do that's what the gun companies do um paul harrell he's wait, got them like yeah he shoots his 10 yards 10 away. yards away seven ten yards away does that make a difference uh, it's going to make some difference in muzzle velocity, but not that much. Um, even if you look at this uh, Remington Thunderbolt, they'll even list on here velocity 1255 at muzzle, 1017 at 100 yards. So obviously, either they've got a chronograph 100 yards away and they have a really good marksman that's been able to shoot them, or they're just calculating that. And. Um, 1255 at the muzzle and again usually when you know you're doing muzzle velocity you're right on top of the chronograph this is my first time so um, he's talking Greek to me we going but, but I'm telling you if anybody can figure it out then figure it out oh uh, yeah it's uh, kind of baffling why why that that silver tip is just not Wanting. Now it shot like it was supposed to out of this gun. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, no doubt. But the little guy, something was going on. Yeah. Hopefully the next video, I'll have a brand new Ruger, 22 pistol, three and a half inch barrel. We test it too. Yep. If yep. I can find one. Yeah. Well, good luck with that. It's hard to find. Yeah. Guns and ammo are like crazy stupid trying to find them right now so, all right guys thank y'all for watching don't forget to check out big's uh, channel Mississippi Pond Rose is in the house and we will catch you next time Peace. bye